listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. 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 The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The, the Breakfast Club. Well, Lamar Odom is rightfully upset about being cut from the big three, but it's the way that he was cut also. Now, he posted on social media, the big three decided to deactivate me for the remainder of the 2019 season. I respect Ice Cube and the other league execs. However, I'm extremely disappointed with the way this has been handled. Besides the embarrassment, it's disappointing to read on IG that this decision had been made, especially without sharing it with myself or my manager. Only after I heard from the media, I was then told the big boys cutting checks decided they had to deactivate me with no real specific explanation. They did say on TMZ that health was their concern. That was foul. They should have reached out to him first, at least. He also was excited, he said, to play in Rhode Island. He said the Rhode Island game that is happening was the game I've been looking forward to the most. As many people know, this is where it all started for me. What, did his physical come back uh, bad? Did he fail a drug test or something? I guess he just wasn't in great shape. But he Mm. played one game, didn't he? Yeah, he definitely played one game at least. He scored like four points or something like that, two points or three points, I mean. I mean, he has, he's been off for a couple of years. Of I guess he, he wanted them it. to let him know first before right. it broke in the media. It makes sense. Basically. Now, according to executives at the Big Three, they're saying that they did make multiple attempts to reach him, but they never got a response. So, well, Lamar ain't got no phone? Shut up. You know, Lamar got to have a phone. Maybe they're like, hey, we need to talk, and he just never responded. Should have DM'd him. All right, now J-Lo, she was supposed to perform in New York City over the weekend at Madison Square Garden, but the timing was off. You know why? We told you there was a blackout in New York, Mm -hmm. and unfortunately it happened right when her show was about to happen. Here's what she said on Instagram. Hi, guys. So we're backstage. They just told me to get off stage. I was waiting there. Obviously, all the power went out in the city, and obviously here at Madison Square Garden while we were in the middle of our show. Actually, we have just started our show. Um, They're asking everybody to evacuate very slowly and calmly. I am obviously heartbroken and devastated. That had to suck, man. I was having a convo with one of my guys yesterday, my man Mark, at a uh, birthday party for a young lady who cheers with my daughter. But he was at the concert. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's rescheduled for the day. But for you got to think, if you work every day, Saturday night is a night out for you. Correct. So you can't just up and leave on a Monday night to go to a J-Lo concert. To re- you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, well, I mean, th- she's, she's still doing it today. She's rescheduling today. There's nothing she could do There's nothing she could do. It's an it's a act, a act of God. I think that's what they call I'm, it if I'm, that I'm, happens. Yeah, I'm well, not saying it's her fault. That's more like Con Edison. It is Con issues. Edison. But they call it an act of God <laughs> if that happens. You know, but because... They really, she really ain't got to do another show. Yeah, I'm not, she, she was there. I'm not saying it's her fault, but you know, you got to think about what day the concert was on. It was on a Saturday. So if you're going to reschedule, I understand you got a busy schedule. How about reschedule so the working class people can actually come to Bro, the show? J Lo is probably booked out every weekend from here I'm on out. I'm sure she is. And imagine if you flew in for the weekend. That's what I'm saying, man. That's even worse. And you left already. It ain't her fault. No, I'm just saying oh. it's uh, unfortunate. It is. All around. Now, I'm just Soldier saying, Boy. When, when you're rescheduling, think about the people that come to your shows, the regular working class people that probably can't get out on a Monday. That's all I'm saying. Now, Soldier Boy, tell him is out of jail. Yes, he's out of jail early. So, congratulations to him. He is out of jail early for a combination of reasons. It's because he was, uh, you know, good behavior, time served, mm-hmm. and overcrowding. So, he's out 146 days earlier than anticipated. So congratulations. It's to weird. Him. I don't feel like congratulating him for that. Right. It just feels weird. Congratulations, you got you out of jail early. the biggest comeback. That's a yeah. big deal. 146 days early. That is a congratulations. You should have never been in there to begin with, though. Well, of course. Yeah. All right, Drake Congratulations fans for graduating school early. I'm <laughs> not happy about the OVO <laughs> festival ticket prices. What are the prices? Ooh, well, let me tell you something. These prices, if you want to be uh, general admission on the floor, a thousand dollars. If you want to be in uh, official platinum, that's a thousand dollars. The lawn general admission, five hundred dollars. You know, I'm looking at these prices. Um, the lawn general admission, they have a lawn ticket. That is uh, the the lowest price I saw on here was one hundred and eighty five dollars. Oh, stop complaining, Canada. Y'all don't got to pay for health care. Y'all got money for them goddamn tickets. <laughs> stop it, I man. That is very expensive. Stop but all it. these concerts be that expensive. If you want to sit a on the floor dollars? or front row, they all expensive. No matter what show I've ever been to, those ticket that's what the ticket prices usually are. Some of those tickets uh, went up to actually two thousand dollars. Is that crazy? No, you don't pay for no college. Wait, wait, but <laughs> no health care in Canada. Y'all got it. But then again, right? Is that $2,000 to see Omarion, Lloyd, B2K in them? It's for the whole weekend, ain't it? Yeah, there's tickets for the fe- Oh, for the concert. whole weekend? That makes sense? You get two line. concerts? No, no, don't give me the line oh, now. Oh, I'm, oh, just, oh, I'm just assuming oh, oh, oh. No, it's for the whole weekend. No, because it's really for the concert. 
There's two concerts, though. Yeah, there's two concerts. So I'm not sure it's for both concerts, but they do have this just as a... If it's for both concerts, I, I get it. Do they pay for college in Canada? Yes, but they I do? don't know. I don't know. I know they don't pay for health care. No, they don't. <laughs> Either way, y'all got it, man. <laughs> Stop it, man. Yeah, come on. Knock That's it off. a lot. Sheesh. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. 